Hi and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. Now, I've just been jogging. It's starting to rain, so I've just come back to the car to get some equipment and I'm gonna head back into the woods. I need to get my tarp set up before it comes down because it's forecast to rain for three hours. So I'll get cracking and I'll see you later. Hello there and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. Now we're in the road at uh, woods, <laughs> wood and it is raining i don't know if you can hear it if i put the phone near the top you might be able to hear that if you turn your volume up well i'll spin you around in a second and show you my shelter uh so let's have a look what we've built so as you can see i've not gone with the twigs branches and, and leaves shelter today i've gone with the cheap tarpaulin like i said in the last video um let's have a look inside i've got it tied out to these trees here and i've spread another line out to this one and uh, i've got my aldi camp bed like i said and i've put my two roll mats out i've just literally blown the air bed up so that's that's all ready i've got the setup pretty low uh, because i wanted it to peg into the ground either side to stop any air coming up or under should I say uh, I have got the other tarp the small one which is a bit like a basher uh, which I might put up at the other end there uh, and then shove my bed over a bit because it is blowing this direction um, as you can maybe see oops the phone at this at this string here the phone case you can see it's blowing in a little bit there's a little breeze but uh, my bag looks like it's drying up now it's only just this edge that's getting wet so yeah if I shove that tarp up there I might just hutch my bed over a, a bit I might even just put the tarp over there because I've got a couple of pe tent pegs left uh, then probably go and get my other coat out of the car because I've got my micro fleece on uh, which will, is keeping me warm enough, but with this this rain it ain't going to last very long So I need to swap it over for my other coat or get my other coat on top So before I get this other tarp up, that's something I think I'm going to do So I don't get any wetter and I need to go and get my pillow From the car you're thinking bushcraft pillow. Yeah, but it's a homemade pillow though So yeah, give, give me some credit for that uh, It is now 20 past nine and near enough there my friends over here he's getting set up that looks fantastic he's got a dutch army tent and tarp over the top for extra protection uh, as you've just seen we got we are going to lower that tarp down in in a second to give him more protection um so you can see there's a couple of other people in the distance one over there there's actually one you can just make out and then the other one behind this shed um yeah i'm looking forward to it i suppose once we've all got set up we'll have some breakfast and then probably like you know sort of suss out where we're going to have as group campfire that's if we're going to do that if it's going to be throwing it down or we're going to hang out around his own little shelters but this forecast um is only for three hours the rain so we should be all right and dry tonight. I'll, I'll check it in a bit if I've got any internet signal here. So, oh, you can see they're moving some logs already. What are they up to? What are they up to? They might be making uh, a fire area up there. I don't know. No idea. Right, I'll check in with you later. Bye for now. Hello and welcome back to another part of uh, my weekend's camping. Now, you can probably still hear it is raining and it's forecast to rain till two o'clock so the mora is on i am not wearing my leather belt with me leather sheath knife and stuff like that because it's unprotected what i have done is i've altered my shelter now so i've extended it with a basher i'll just show you so i've literally just got my food bag out you can see my steel barrel oven point it right direction there um that's for dinner I'm gonna cook some Swedish meatballs in there and some potato croquettes but uh, right now I'm gonna get some sausages on the go I'm gonna have sausage and tomatoes so uh, I'm gonna to use my life venture cook set 
that I got for Christmas. And uh, yeah, they have got a group fire going up there now, but there's no shelter up there at the minute. Somebody is bringing a big tarp in a bit, so that'll be all right when we've got that sorted. So I'm gonna have some breakfast, then I'm gonna get hunting, hunting for some fungi. I'm looking for coal fungus, Derillium concentrica, cramp balls, uh, King Alfred's cakes. I'm looking for them because I know they're here. So, uh, yep, I've got a plastic bag and I'm going to go on the hunt in a bit. So, right, time to get some snap. Show you in my, in my bed area. I've not got my sleeping bag out. I'll do that in a bit. Really, I should get it out, but I'll probably do it after breakfast because what I need to do is get it out, shake it up and let it, you know, uh, fill up with air so it's not compressed um, until I, I get in it tonight. So, I've got my wool blanket, I did bring that from the car, and I've got a hot water bottle as well. <laughs> so, I've got plenty of water, so I'm going to boil some water and get my bed nice and cosy. And hopefully there, looking at it, I should have a good night's sleep. It looks pretty level inside there, my bed. Uh, when I've used that bed before, I've been a bit laid on one side, or I'm, I'm leaning forward because I'm on a bit of a hill. But, uh, yeah, I should be fine with that, so get some snap on the go now so I'll see you later back again finally got breakfast on the go at half past ten got my tomatoes in this little this little one here I'll warm them up I've got my sausages on the go at the minute oh that's still cold which is nice there we go look at them oh they smell lovely I'm having Asda extra special and they are gluten free uh, sausages, this is their look, which means uh, they're more meatier. They taste fantastic. They're not full of cereal and rubbish. Uh, got my food bag open, you can see. Got some water. So, once I've had my, my breakfast, I've got my legendary plastic plate. Which I normally have all the time because it, it, you know, it's not just a plate. It's brilliant for getting fire going. <laughs> We're wafting fire like. As you can see, my traditional kit that I made myself. Now, like you probably saw my video the other day, hand stitching nice sheaths and that. Um, I'll show you my nice sheath. There you go. Wet formed leather. Does the job. Cost me nothing. Nothing to make. Very kind person donated the leather. Well, it did. It did cost me. It cost me a few pounds for the wax linen cord. So I've just left them there because it is still raining. Uh, there's a group of people now gathering up round the, the campfire. You can probably just make out people up there. But uh, I'm getting my breakfast and then I'm going on the uh, the fungi hunt. So. I've moved my bergen down this end. I've now got my sleeping bag, as you can see. I've shaken it up, but it's still quite flat. And I was having a feel around at the foot end because like the review I read was saying, it had extra padding around the foot area. This one doesn't seem to be like that, but that review was of a sleeping bag back in 2014. You can see I've got the handmade pillow up there. And the orange bag, I've got my wool blanket and water bottle, and that's just the stuff sack for this sleeping bag. My hat for later, and a snug pack jacket in case I decide to chuck the snug pack on, then do fleece, the micro fleece, and then this red coat. But you can see, like you saw in the last clip, I uh, have put this basher up, which now gives me a, a dry place to sit and cook. So that's what I'm doing now. Right, I better get to uh, turning these sausages around before they end up black on one side. And I'll see you in a bit. Hello. So I've had my breakfast, washed my pots, and uh, now I've been doing a bit of foraging. As you can probably tell, it's it's uh, soaking wet through. What I'm after is cramp balls. You probably can't see very well out of that bag. Let me try and pick you one out get a decent example what I'm finding is is a decent example cramp ball fungus King Alfred's cake uh, coal fungus Derillium concentrica some posh name like that uh, probably not pronouncing that right 
Uh, but yeah, basically I'm looking for these. Now at this time of year, what I'm finding is this is the wrong time of year. Um, they're either too far gone, they're being eaten by bugs and they're going soft and fluffy. You can see little holes here where bugs have been going in. Or they are pink, they're new, they're, you know, they're living. So it's probably going to be a couple of months, I think, before they, they're going to be properly ready. But I'm going to see if I can save these ones. There's, I've got a few, a lot of them smashed up and broken and got bugs in and stuff like that. Is that wet? I've got water dripping down my nose. Um, yeah, so this is where I'm searching through at the minute. I'm looking for obviously the dead ash trees on the floor. And uh, oh, you can see some juicy fungus look growing on this log. So, oh, a wet day, and my phone's getting wet through, so I'll see you again in a bit. Then it was time to light the fire when I joined the main group. As you can see, it continued to rain until uh, maybe about three o'clock. Then we all started collecting firewood, so we got a huge pile of firewood uh, ready for the night so we weren't going foraging when it was dark. And we also got some tops set up to cover us all. Whilst going around I saw some really nice wildlife and different lichens and plants and things like that and, and these tree wells were, were pretty nice. Something different. Also got to test out the Ferro Fire Survival XXL and made some more spatulas. This one is almost finished off, just needs a little bit sanding at home and you can see I made some mini feathers on it. And uh, and then it was time to get the oven out to cook my dinner. And uh, I used my Alpkit head torch, which uses a double A battery. Well, I know you can't see much with this uh, this light on here, but and you can't see much from there. But uh, actually, it's quite nice and lit up. So oh, just having a fantastic camp. It's just a shame it's only one night with these guys because they have such a laugh. It's brilliant. I wish I could camp with them a lot more. So I'm just going to go and drop me, me oven back in the car. My steel barrel oven. And uh, yeah, get back to the, to the group, to the fun. It's a good laugh with these lot. So I'll see you soon. Just going on the, uh... Oh, ah, on YouTube, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll show you so much I'll make you famous on YouTube. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't zoom in enough for that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> It's going well now, isn't it? <laughs> I do try and keep it clean, you know, for kids. I have got kids that watch. <laughs> you have to edit it. <laughs> I can't take bits out middle, just the end, so that bit you've just gone in on about tallywhackers is going in. <laughs> Let's just get his face and all. That, that's him, look. <laughs> what did you just say? So I'm out camping with local bushcraft group and now we've got some fire and uh, the top hasn't melted yet. You can actually see everybody. It looks like it's melted and it's fallen on John's face, look. <laughs> and my legs are cooking. <laughs> That's going well, isn't it, that far now? <laughs> blue, blue flame in it, We're going to get these tarps. As you can see by the flame, someone did use something called magic fire last night, which makes uh, lots of different colours in the flames. Well, welcome back. I've heard by one of the other guys it's minus two, and I keep having to shake my gas bottle because it's freezing. The other one won't work because it's frozen, so I've had this one in the bag and uh, now I'm trying to boil some water up. I've boiled one a uh, lot of water up so I've got a water bottle in there now and the other one's here but what's happened is the paracord has stretched 
so my shelter's dropped so I've moved my bed so I've just got clearance either side uh, I've just put the wool blanket out and uh, unfortunately just because of the damp because everything's getting cold and you can see there the condensation my sleeping bag's wet on the outside but hopefully with the, my heat that moisture will hopefully go through the wool blanket and I will be nice and warm tonight uh, I'm going to take trousers off, boots off, uh, coat and then just get in with my long johns on t-shirt and micro fleece and uh, hopefully I will be warm so this is a trial for this new sleeping bag so see there if I took that off a second ago before I shook the bottle uh, it would have almost gone out so right I'm getting ready for bed I'll see you in, uh, in the morning I don't know if you can see that's my breath <laughs> it's super super cold bye for now this morning uh, while I got up and had a coffee because it was early decided to put some candles out for some nice lighting and it was nice to relax with candlelight well good morning everybody it's now nearly eight o'clock and uh, I got up at R6 I was up a few times in the night cold uh, nature calling and nature was actually calling there was a fox uh, making a right racket in woods and I thought is he gonna come and start going around my stuff because it's happened before on woodland camps they'll come into your camp and start going around your bins but as you can probably tell I'll just show you my car I don't want to be showing you everybody else's number plates and stuff like that but as you can see my car it's a bit white it has started snowing so I'm going to get back into these woods and get the rest of my gear packed up but you can probably see from the road it's a right mess it doesn't look too bad but it is a right mess luckily at the minute it's frozen so we be alright uh, when I came here it was thawing out and it's very slippy where it is the forestry people have gone into that wood up there and they've been ripping it to pieces uh, literally the wood and the ground so right into the woods see you later so here I am guys in the woods the group fires up there a lot of people stood up there this morning I'll join them in a minute but uh, I've got all my setup down most of it's back in the car so I've got my rucksack here tent pegs water bag full of cramp ball fungus I've got oh battery's low just says it's unable to use flash I've got the sausages on the go with my life venture cook set having to use the adapter for this can that's my backup can so tops are there all gonna go in the car like that same as a lot of me uh, gear um, is wet so I'll have to be dried out at home of course rubbish bag never leave any rubbish in woods leave it how you found it um, and it's snowing as you saw earlier outside the woods obviously outside the woods is a bit more than in here even though there's no leaves on the trees in this part that part is evergreens it's all pines in there uh, this is mainly ash so it's a good place for cramp ball fungus well, it's a good place to meet and practice bushcraft as you saw last night I made a spatula and uh, I was going to do some more wood carving but I thought it's not really best to do it with Ed Torch on uh, you know put knives away now when light's not that good so I have done it before I've sat with a uh, little light miner's lantern and uh, carved a spoon and a spatula that was two years ago at, at the Christmas camp then that was here yeah that were a good camp so I'm glad to be out and I'm also glad to be going home so I'm gonna get a good night's sleep been using the piece of paper that came with the plastic tarpaulin just to keep the bottom of my cooker clean when I've took a pan off stand it on there so it's not in sludge and uh, yeah that will end up in the rubbish bag 
So, I'll spin you around. There's my friend set up. He's took his top down. He's loading most of his gear now into my car. Again, that, that's that's the problem using the phone, and the buttons are on the screen. Uh, I accidentally hit the button, same as you see me putting my thumb over the camera now, because my phone's going to pop out at case. Oh, so all in all, a very good camp. Uh, a little bit cold last night. Woke up a couple of times. Uh, a lot of people in these woods snore. <laughs> um, and there were some howling noises. Uh, very strange howling noises, which I wasn't sure whether it may be a fox or a badger, but my friend says they're definitely a fox. So that were that were quite close that were, and I always wondered if it would come into camp, because I've been at other camps and they have come in and they've like licked people's pans and stuff like that, and you can hear them rustling around and rattling your gear outside your tent. Uh, obviously I weren't in a tent today, I was just out in the open, so I don't want a fox coming chewing on my face really. So yeah, I'm just going to have my sausages now, uh, get rest of the gear packed up into the car, say goodbye to the lads, thank them very much, and uh, and get off home, get me get me gear out, and try to get it dried. The sheets will just go in the shed for another day, but the sleeping bag, I want to get that out and get it dried off straight away, and then I can pack it away properly. Same as my um, roll mat and things like that, the self-inflating one, because that's got wet. And you don't want anything going mouldy uh, for when you want to get out next time when it all nice and fresh. So, thank you very much for watching Simon Outdoors, and I'll see you another day for another video. Bye for now. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to help out Simon Outdoors on his adventures, then look at the PayPal Me link below in the description. Thank you very much, and bye bye. So when I got back in, it was time to get all my gear dried, and they're still drying at the minute. And I got all the pieces of paracord out that I was using to dry out, and also all my camping pots are in the sink, which are now done and nice and clean. Thank you for watching Simon Outdoors. Subscribe and like for more videos. If you want to help out Simon Outdoors, then please check out the PayPal Me link in the description. Your help would be appreciated. Thank you.